This week on Life on Jupiter, we are bound for Mexico. Emergency sail repairs mid-ocean. On arrival, near disaster. Night passages always come with a certain level of anxiety. But this one, with a full moon and a calm sea, was actually quite lovely. No matter how pleasant the evening was, there is always a flood of relief at the first sign of dawn. The first job of the day is always an inspection, clearing the dead flying fish off the deck, searching for chafe and inspecting the rig. Jupiter's brand new DIY rig had just spent its first 24 hours at sea. Unsurprising that it needed a little more tension to take up the stretch of the new wire. The rig I was happy with, but the mainsail was annoying me. The luff rope on our mainsail continues to be a problem. I don't know if you remember a year ago, Martinique, we paid a thousand, twelve hundred euro to get some work done on the main, just some like the batten pockets needed uh, redoing, and also the luff rope. That's like the bolt rope that's down the very luff of the sail, and all it does is hold tension, just holds a little tension to stop it from flapping. So um, they said they fixed it, the sail makers in Martinique, but we still had flapping up the top there. Anytime the wind is on the beam or forward of the beam, it's just flogging. So uh, we realized after taking the main off that the rope is actually broken. You see it, that's it there. And there's no rope in here and then it starts again here. And that meter or so, I pulled out <laughs> from down the bottom. I just went, oh, and it started coming out. <laughs> Shit. So, um, so for now, this meter and a bit, I'm just gonna insert some new rope, just so that we can put a little tension on it, and I'm just gonna sew those parts just try and stop that flogging so luckily I found a bit of stiff wire I could push that meter now I've put a draw cord in and now I've sewn on the new rope so hopefully it runs through smoothly Let's see here we go Yes, 
standing on the run. Is it? No. <laughs> it's okay. Mm. Yeah, right here. Come on, baby. <laughs> there you go. Yeah. Yay. Show me. Nice. So. There you gonna just saw it there. Yeah, so that's the top, that's the top of the rope. That goes all the way down to the tack. And it's, I've sewn that there. So I'm gonna sew this one here, and sew it there, and sew it there, and then hopefully that'll get us by until we get to a cheap sail maker. slowest sewing machine in the world but it's actually the most portable mm -hmm. okay now can you pass my glasses so I'm hurting myself Cool already. We uh, got to close up the awnings at night time. The wind just gets freezing. It's only just before five o'clock. But uh, we've been putting on all the jackets, beanie, scarf. Pretty cold at night. It's been a bit of a slow day. In fact, we motored for about six hours. There was absolutely no wind. But we're moving now. Um, not exactly where we need to go, but in the general direction. So, uh, still 360 miles to go. It's gonna take quite a few, quite a bit longer than I expected. I thought it would be there two and a half days. The forecast looked good. Ah, just no wind. But uh, it's been lovely days and lovely nights too. Uh, beautiful starry nights. Just gold. <laughs> Finally, we got some wind. Wind came up at about four o'clock, I guess. So we were sailing nicely by then, and then by what? Eight o'clock, we're sitting on nines and tens, sometimes surfing at twelves. What do we got? Fourteen, <clears throat> sometimes sixteen knots on the right on the beam. Perfect. A little bit rolly. As rolly as it can be for a cat. 
and it just makes such a difference. God, it's it's a mental stress because all day yesterday we're sitting on two, three, four knots speed over ground, and you're looking at the the estimated time, and it's like a a hundred hours to go. That's <laughs> You know, four days to go at that speed, and it's uh. and now we're doing you know nines and tens. We we got 25 hours to go. <laughs> yeah. It's just a bit of wind in the right direction, and you quarter your trip time. So uh, yeah, thankfully and hopefully it'll last another day, and we'll be in. Ila Mujeres tomorrow. Yeah. Hopefully before dark. At the moment it's saying sort of three o'clock, four o'clock. Uh, hopefully the speed remains. And also last night wasn't too cold. Mm -hmm. Just hoodies only, really. Yeah. yeah. Didn't need the jackets, didn't need the beanies. So that was nice. And the water temperature is going up. It's now near, it's now 29 degrees, whereas in uh, Pensacola it was 20. I can swim in this. But we're we're going a bit too fast for fishing at the moment. I mean, uh, for one, it's it's a drama. If we catch a fish, we've got to try and slow the boat down. But uh, also, I. From what people tell me, at nine, ten knots is too fast for trolling, you know. The lure just skips across the top of the water. One day we'll get a mahi mahi. One day.
We're on our last few hours before we reach Mexico. And the, uh, the wind was a forward of the beam earlier. It was almost a, a, a close haul. But now we're right on the beam again and doing nine or 10 knots. Got uh, 17 knots of breeze. And uh, the sea's quite comfortable now. Not as rough as it was earlier. So we've got about 50 miles to go. I cannot see land yet, but I see it on the chart. That's pretty cool. I guess if you zoom right out, you can see any land on the chart. You'll probably see Europe from here. Anyway, forget about that. Uh, so we've got a trawler. This is our first traffic here, which is, I could hear them on the radio, Mexicans talking. All very exciting. So, looking forward to dropping the anchor, hopefully at about 10 or 11 o'clock tonight. We'll have a full moon. It's already up. And, uh, yeah, it should, should be okay to come in strange port at night. Should be okay. I'm gonna crack a couple of beers and maybe even have a little scotch for bedtime. Oh, looking forward to it. the boom. Welcome to Mexico! That's for you. What is this? Just oh. water. <laughs> no, it's champagne. There's no bubbles. Cheers! Hola, we Mexico! It. <laughs> it's just, uh, we don't, you don't see anything but we're in Mexico. That's the extent of my language so far. Hola! That's all I know. Mm. Oh. What is it? Uh, 10.30 at night, anchor's set, and nice and calm in here. And we can see the bottom. When we turn the floodlights on, we can see the beautiful yes. clear water. Oh, look at this mess we've got to try and live in now. I think we're just going to have a shower and go to bed. I'm still hungry. <laughs> Snacks?
I got wet. <laughs> oh, I knew it's gonna happen. I asked Jamie like um two minutes before that happened that he should check that boat because yesterday he also dragged. <sighs> <laughs> I need to get that one. Anchor up, me. Bring you back a bit further. Well, maybe we don't have an anchor. 
Well, the anchor's going to be hitting the, the propellers soon. That's the oh, point. shit. Uh, I can see, I can see boats ahead of us, alright, so we 